Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is graphing this function. So if you would, take a moment or two and pause the video and see if you can graph this function. All right, what you should have known, what you should have seen right away, there's one or two ways to do this. One way is to just simply make a table, have your x's and your y's all set up, and just plug in numbers. So let's do that. I'll show you both ways how to graph this function. All right, and when you pick your x's, what you want to do is you want to pick relatively simple x's. So, and pick enough so that you know how to graph it. So you have, uh, let's say, negative one, zero, one, two. All right, so if I plug in negative one, two times negative one is negative two minus three gives me negative five. I plug in zero, two times zero is zero minus three is negative three. Plug in one, two times one is two, two minus three gives you a, yeah, negative one. All right, I plug in a two, two times two is four, minus, four minus three is, yeah, it's just one. Now you can plot those points and that's fine. Now if you look at my small little graph, I don't have a y of negative five. I mean, I could place it on there, but sometimes you're gonna get points that fall off the graph. So make sure you select points that fall on the graph or you're gonna to have to make your graph bigger. Now, the other way, and you know, with this you just plot the points, you connect the dots. That's why I have this hanger because I need a, a straight edge. What you can also do, what form is this in? Yeah, it's a line. What form is it in? Yeah, it's in slope intercept form. What's your slope? Yeah, two. And it's implied that's over one, so it's two over one. What's another way of saying slope? Yeah, rise over run. And what's this negative three out here? Slope intercept, so it's your intercept. Is your y intercept or your x intercept? Very good, it's your y-intercept. So this is your y-intercept. Let me put a note of that, y-intercept. And this is your slope. So when you graph, you wanna start with your y-intercept. So your y-intercept is negative three. Now, once you know this way, it's much quicker than just plugging in the numbers and your slope is two over one. So it's rise over run. So you're rising, you're going up two over one. Up two over one. See that? Up two over one. And you're gonna keep on doing that. Now what you also can do, let me just put a negative five to show you. Having your slope to be two over one is the same as having it negative two over negative one. If it's negative, you're gonna go down two, and then with the run, go towards the negatives. So it'll be about right here. Now my graph's gonna be a little off because, well, this is not graph paper. So preferably, it's gonna be relatively close. Then again, this hanger is not the straightest thing in the world. And that's how you graph a line. That's it.